in there. 9.51 is the time. You might be taking advantage of the good weather this weekend. This bank holiday in particular, maybe you've got an ice cream in your hand already um, and you'll be getting outdoors. But what about a new sporting venture? Um, have you considered lawn bowls? So uh, there are assumptions about it. Maybe that it's a game for older generations. Uh, but this weekend, clubs are opening up their doors in the hope of attracting, I guess, more people generally, but particularly, possibly, younger players. Matt Graveling is in Chingford. At, uh, well, what a lovely Look spot you've got there. And everybody's in action at whatever it is, 10 to 10 in the morning. Lovely, man. Not only that, Charlie, we've also had a little bacon bap as well. So we are very, very happy here in North East London because it is the bowls big weekend, as you say, trying to get people involved in bowls if they haven't already started playing. It's a sport which sees around 125,000 people across the country regularly playing at about 2,000 or so clubs. This is one of them, the Connaught Club, and it's been doing bowls now for around 100 years. So they're opening their doors today. If you're watching this and you live in the area, why not come down here? There'll be plenty of other clubs as well getting involved. Let's bring in two of the players for me right now. This is Steve and Claire. Steve, you're the, the secretary of the whole club. Yep. First and foremost, just tell me a little bit about the the fun you have coming down here at the Connaught Club? Oh, it's a super thing. Um, we took early retirement about six years ago. We found bowls, absolutely love it. The social atmosphere here is tremendous. Bowls is such an easy game to play. I love it. I, I just can't get enough of it, to be honest. And I'd honestly say, like you just said, if anybody's in the Chingford area watching this today, come on down and have a go. Thank you very much. Now, Claire, for yourself, what do you think about this, this thought process about having to get younger people involved in, in the sport. Why is it so important? It's very important. We want bowls to survive and we want it to thrive. And kids love playing. When we bring the kids down, they love playing. Teenagers love playing. It's a game that anyone can play. You don't need to be skillful. We can just come and have a go. And you're outside in the beautiful sunshine most of the time. Um, it's great for your physical and mental health as well. Well, you say you don't have to be skillful, Claire. We're going to put that to the test in a moment because I think I'm about to be embarrassed on national television, but that is fine. Now, I said, Charlie, that I want somebody to tell me about bowls who really knows about bowls, and they gave me a man called Craig Bowler. I thought he's got to be the man if his name's Craig Bowler. Welcome here. Um, we're going to hear about your fantastic story in a moment, sir, but first and foremost, what is it about bowls which is so exciting for you? Oh, bowls, you know, it's, it's so diverse, you know, you could be seven years old, 90 years old, you know, I don't think there's another sport that's so diverse, you know, um, and it's it's great being out in the fresh air, lovely sunny, you know, birds singing, it's, it's such a great sport. Now, it's fair to say, and these are your words, but bowls saved your life, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so uh, just over 15 years ago now, um, I tried to take my own life, I had a nervous breakdown. Um, and yeah, I was in a coma for a month and a half, obviously lost uh, all three limbs um, uh, in the hospital for about about five months. And uh, a friend said, you know, come down to bowls club. Um, and I think that was a massive part of my rehabilitation. Just as for me, it gave me that confidence and the family and the friends you make through bowls is so great for mental health. It really is. Very pleased you're still here, of course, and a uh, big advocate of men speaking out about their mental health. We, we echo that as well. Uh, well, let's see a couple of pictures of you in action before we have a little go ourselves. You won a medal at the Commonwealth Games in 2022. Can we talk about the hair, though? Yeah, so the, the hair is... Uh, I just wanted a bit of fun, you know. It, you know, it's... it's everyone said it's an old man's game and it really isn't you know um, you've got to get rid of that stigma so I've done the hair to match my legs um, and it, it matched the kit as well and you know I'm loud and proud on the greens anyway so yeah one one bronze medalist and now doing a lot of stuff for charity sham Loxy um, uh, charity um, Lord Loxy and um, yeah, uh, make a difference to help mental health and disability and stuff. So I'm also I'm not sure which picture we can see on the screens at the moment, but I've got to say there's a lovely picture of you and your wife, who was actually also one of your physios. So um, <laughs> you know you managed to get a, a wife out of this situation, turning negatives into positives all over the place. Right, let's have quickly a a, a little winner takes all, one bowl each. You against me. Don't fancy my chances. Um, so go for it. Let's have uh, you. You, you first. Yeah, I need to know what I've got to beat. Uh, we've got a jack down there. 
Uh, I think it's the one in between the, uh, the, the coloured numbers. But here we go. We've got a Commonwealth medalist against a first time a BBC journalist. Which way is this going to go? Place your bets now. Right, here we go. Craig Bowler. Good stance. Rolling it down towards the jack. Look at that little bit of pace. You can see the bias on the lean there going in towards that. Past the 25 marker, past the 50 marker. I may as well not bother for bowling. He's almost oh, touched the jack. That. Look at that. No pressure. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Right, I don't even know which way this oh, rolls. Way this yeah, let's make sure which we get that. Which way are you going to go? Follow me down all that side. I'm, I think if I get it on this green, we'll be well, all right. You want to go that side? Okay, right, yeah, let's you... go. Charlie, Rachel, this is what it's all about. People who haven't played before having a go. And here's my bowl. There we go. Right, let's follow that one down and see how we got on. It's not too bad, you know, that, is it? Come on then, camera. Let's have a little look and see how we got on there. Um, yeah, not too bad at all, I don't think, uh, Charlie and Rachel. We've got... Um, I'm, not saying that I, I'm not saying that I won, but um, I'm also not saying it's close. Um, right, yeah, I think we'll give, you that, give that one to you, Craig. Just, just about. Right, let's bad, let's have the fine let's have the final thought here to Nicole Dyer, who is from Bowls, England. How can people get involved if they're watching this and they think I fancy a little bit of that? I'm definitely better than Matt Graveling. Yeah, yeah, I did watch. <laughs> As, uh, um, no, it's great. I mean, this event it's now in its third year, sponsored by Viva this year. Anyone could just come down, turn up, have a go. I mean. We're trying to break down those stereotypes. This game is truly accessible for everyone, whatever your age, gender. Um, so, yeah, if you go to bowlsengland.com, you can find out more about how you can get involved. There you go. Thank you very much for everyone here at North East London. Get to the website and have a go yourself. Yeah, Matt, I think the verdict is commentary excellent. Really good. Bowling, not quite so much. Oh, it was, it was all go. right. It was half decent. <laughs> I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> Uh, wonderful. Have a great day, whatever it is you're doing this weekend. Breakfast back tomorrow from 6 o'clock. Bye-bye.